Hello everyone and welcome to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and in our last episode we have just finished, um, what was it, Skirmish, yeah, and we're moving on to Spin the Wheel now in uh, part 14. So let's accept our mission. Until I have already, next time. I have already set course, we're going to Drazona Station, so let's enter the system. And we'll kick in full impulse and we'll dock. Welcome to Josanna. Okay. Hmm, this is loading up very slowly. Never mind, it's done now. Okay, so we're gonna come out of the transport room, take a left, take another left, and we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna head up to the bar. Get your Comet Cocktails! 4.7% discount for the Question next three minutes! Welcome to Dr Have you tried the Comet and Cocktail? Like this it's option. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then perhaps I know we somewhere. could come to some sort of a Maybe she's been here. Yeah, I'm sure. Go to the car. Okay, so he's got a problem in the cargo bay, which turns out to be his replicators are not online. Uh, I will show you the correct sequence now once we get there. Because, um, yeah, I know I spent ages trying to figure this out in my first run, so let's get started here. Scan the station replicators. Run diagnostic. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what is the cause? Uh, what must be done? And heal engineering team. And that should be enough. Okay, so. It's like the top option. Uh, scan replicate power systems. And then we reroute. Then we go around here. Scan environmental controls. And then reroute. Then we go up here to gravity controls. And we turn around 180 and we head all the way down to the bottom of the room. And we're going for defense grid. And we reroute. And we do a 180 again. And we're heading up to environmental controls. And then we are going back two replicators. That's it. That is the correct sequence. So now we basically head back towards uh, Belan or Balan, whatever his name is. Oh, and actually, do you remember this mission? Unlocking the box? Do you remember we got this mission from the Ferengi on Earth space dock? This is where we can get it turned in. Uh, actually, it's right here. Access illicit goods. And uh, we continue. There we go. Uh, I'm actually not going to open that now. I'm going to open it later on when I'm a much higher level. Because um, you level up really fast in this Get game. your Comet Cocktails! 4.7% discount for the next you three minutes! The they are fine! Good! That's it. All right, he's done. We turn around. Do 180. And we're heading for this NPC here, Zamera. Be careful. I'm not in the mood for it. Find out. How could you know? No. Okay, so she wants us to waste some time by playing double. We come over here in the right hand side, bottom right, you can see play double. Spin the wheel and win. And we're gonna type in 100. Well, we have to wait for the game to come available. Man, that was bad timing. There we go. Okay, so we type in 100. Now, I'm going to select 12, 21, and 32. And the reason why I'm picking those numbers is it is one of the many possible sequences where you can get up to a 400% uh, win ratio if 
everything lands right for you. Um, there are other combinations, but 12, 21, 32 is one of them. Um, so if you're looking to play a double, uh, you might want to do that, um, or select one of the other combinations. But yeah, if it happens to, which I think it's these ones, I think it's the wormhole ones. Um, you get a wormhole here, you get a wormhole here, and you get three wormholes here as well. Um, and you get a 400% payout. Or maybe it's 400,000% payout. Dabo! Okay, so we won some Dabo that Let's... Or some Dabo. We won some Cold Press Latinum that time. So now we can go back over to Zamira. I'm not in the mood for what you don't need. What? And we return to ship. This could be your day. Okay, we're going to leave system. The mission is not complete yet. We still have another step to do. But you'll see that now in a second. Um, we're going to open the map and we're going to set course for Deep Space K7. Which just so happens to be pretty much right beside us. But because we're only level 12 and we're in a low level ship, uh, traveling at what, warp? 5.62. It's going to take a minute or two for us to get over there. Um, yeah. While we're waiting, I noticed that our duty officer icon is flashing, which means we have a duty officer mission finished. Unfortunately, it was a failure. It didn't cost me anything. I didn't lose it. Well, I've already told you. It's impossible to lose duty officer missions uh, on or duty officers on no normal duty officer missions. Not unless, of course, one of the requirements for the mission is that you sacrifice a bridge officer, or a duty officer, which do exist, by the way. So let's uh, select a new mission. Uh, there we go. That's good enough. And here we are at Deep Space K7. In full impulse, we'll get within range and we will dock with the station. Um, do you know what? Since we're here, we actually do have another mission that we can get. So I'm going to open up my mission journal. I'm going to click on Available. And Admiral Quinn, we're going to click on Neutral Zone Diplomacy. Hail. The Klingon Empire has been making aggressive moves in and around the neutral zone. Commander Wildman is spearheading Starfleet's efforts to contain the situation. All right, so we only get uh, a little bit of experience and expertise for this. But... Doing this mission will actually unlock the ability for you to take part in or challenge other players in PvP. And uh, yeah, it only takes a minute to do. So accept the mission, go straight ahead, come into this office. This is Commander Wildman, talk to her. Then head back outside. And then we take a right here into the main room, lobby, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to talk to this NPC. You can accept that uh, tutorial mission if you want, but there's n it's not necessary. And we're going to talk to this NPC. Okay. And we're going to head back to Commander Wildman.
And that's it. PvP is now unlocked. You can freely join or challenge other players and take part in PvP. Um, and actually, uh, I need... You know, I'm going to check something real quick. No, that's not it. Never mind. Okay, so uh, let's head for Club 47, or C Club K7 47, do you hear me? Um, we're going all the way through here. We're going to veer off to the left, and we're going to go up this turbo lift. And this is the guy we're looking for. Talk to him. How can I help you? Select the so green option. So that it's good. Leave the system. Spin the wheel is complete. Not now. Let's hail Starfleet. Good work. Zamara may think she has slipped my noose, but I always have ways of keeping tabs on her. I take special care to know all about people in whom I have an interest. But you already know that, don't you? The ghosts that Zamara mentioned concern me, however. You already encountered Davidians once. It's likely they're on Drazana Station as well. And I won't let them use Federation citizens as food. Lieutenant Kalapo has completed work on the Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. It should help you when you're ready to enter the lower levels of Drazana. Drake out. Okay, so we have uh, an option of, uh, again, for picking one of these three items. I'm going to pick this item. Um, it's a levelless gun, or um, assault rifle, uh, at least up to Mark 12 anyway. So we're going to select that. Until Congratulations, next Lieutenant Commander. We've hit level 13. Our next mission is going to be What Lies Beneath. So, um... Yeah, that's it. Uh, join me next time for, what is it, part 15, when we do the mission What Lies Beneath. Thanks a million for watching. As always, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a million for watching. I'll see you next time.